when your system is okay at that time you go remember family now when your body system is working perfectly now that time you go remember money or side or so now that time you go even remember say you won't go office trust me when your body system is working perfectly from your head to your toes now that time you go remember say you won't do that thing where you love to do so i want you to i want you to watch this video from another angle because if you are watching it like normal videos, you will not appreciate your efforts, you will not appreciate God upon your earth. You will not appreciate God for giving you this, your body that you are carrying up and down, that is working perfectly. So please, if you are new to this channel, kindly click on the red button to subscribe to this channel. And also, don't forget to click on the notification button so you to be notified when we release another content. And also, don't forget to comment, let us know your opinion concerns this. But if you watch it from the aspect of or from the area of thanksgiving that is when your inner eyes will open and you'll be able to thank god for the opportunity that has given to you that even your from your head to your toes all the part of your body is working perfectly because from this video alone i've 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 reasoned i've thought of so many things and i now see the reason why I need to thank God. Trust me, bros. Those people that lie down on the sick bed in the hospital, they don't remember what you are thinking. No, the only thing that they are thinking about every day is how they are going to be fine. That is what they are looking for now. Even all the money that they have, they are spending that money on how their body is going to be okay. They are not even remember their dreams. They have career waiting to be career. They don't drop their career down. They couldn't go to office do anything. The only thing that is on their mind. Two for seven is how am I going to be okay? That is the crying they are crying to God every day. God help me. Help me. I want I want to be okay. I want to be normal again. But look at you and I. We are there. Some of us will not even cannot even kneel down for five minutes, five seconds, and thank God when you wake up in the morning. Some of you will just wake up in the morning. The first thing you pick up is your phone. Cannot even open your mouth and thank God. We are not using this to mock her, but I just want you to appreciate. I appreciate God in your life. I appreciate God upon your health. If you look at what she's saying deeply, you will realize that this is a, a you know, this is a story that, assuming you are a millionaire too, that you can just rise up and help her. Help her. How much? She need money. She couldn't work again. She could not go to office again. She could not do anything. And doctor, they are even telling her that she's going to die in a few years. So she need your help. She need your help and I believe you and I can do that. So please, if you are new to this channel, kindly click on the red button to subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget to click on the notification button so you to be notified when we release another content. And also don't forget to comment. Let us know your opinion concerns this. But one thing is sure that I very know, that I'm that I'm very sure of, is that please, if you remember to thank God for what He has done for you today and even what He's going to do for you, they definitely be expected definitely he said we know that somebody is thanking me somewhere and be ready to do more for you do you know why the reason is because thanksgiving that is the food that god eats thanksgiving your thanks your appreciation is the food for god that is what god eats not the normal food that you are eating so the more you give him thanks time simply means the more you are giving him food so have you given god his food today have you seen thank you to him? Have you seen beyond what he has done given to you? And open your mouth and thank God for what he's about to give and for what he has even given to you. The one he did, the man did it does yesterday. Have you said thank you to him? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Well, I sold my properties, my cars, and I sold actually the 2021 I moved in I was supposed to start a business I was supposed to start off with a business yeah. like my new year like I want to do a side also I couldn't yeah, because you were you were yes. ill I had to sell the property I was meant to start the business with right. even with the capital everything all gone so <sighs> and I've not been working so it's really been tough yeah. like tough tough I was yeah. I was naked the whole time. I was, I even wanted, I want, I wanted help because you know what happened was I, there's um, um, 
a fluid mm. in mind. You know, so this is what this thing does. Mm. This disease, 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 disease. Mm. So it's um, kind of pull a lot of fluid in your lungs towards the heart. So that was the reason. Eventually, they knew what was happening. So that was the reason I couldn't breathe, and yeah. they had to be operated upon and yeah. to evacuate the li the, the fluid. Lipids. And yeah. yeah. So then I've been placed on medication, and I'm still running tests to see if it doesn't come back. And yeah. so I've been going in and out of the hospital for a year. Yeah. When I was just diagnosed, I couldn't stand the pain. Right. Like, I cried like a baby. Like, I'll be crying, even though I've been giving the dosage. Yeah. I still, like, it was really, really bad. All my joints, my ball joints, everywhere. But, you know, with the medication I've been taking, so I feel lesser pain, except I'm having, like, a flare. Like, my in, um, in, inflammation, inflammation is really high. Mm -hmm. Then I'll know that um, I'm in for it again. So I have to go and see my doctor. So you're constantly dealing with, with the pain. Yes. I got a place that I'll be laid in after I'm gone. Wow. So I thought, yes. So wow. because I thought, yeah. and at the time, that was at the time I was on oxygen because the breath keeps going down. Yeah. And I can see the expression on the doctor's Those faces. faces. Ah. <laughs> One doctor even told me, well, after the test, everything came out. It was like, if you... If you if you make sure you're with your loved ones and everything, at least you still have up to like five years. Wow. What do you think? That was when I said, I can't wait till then. I want to go now. <laughs> but there's yeah. God on the throne. God had a different plan. Yes. God has a different plan. Yeah, he has. Here we are. Still breathing. Here we are. But a million two hundred. Oh my goodness. Yes. So... It, might, it, it depends on the kind of body, your kind of body, so yeah. it might not work. So you're not so, explaining that one point something? Yeah, it, it was not work. working. I was in pain. I was crying. I was the whole time. So at some point I said, I don't even need the medication. Let me just wait for death to come. If that's what is going to kill me. But when I saw my daughter, mm. because initially they didn't want her to see me. Mm. So... At some point, that I was feeling like I couldn't breathe properly, so I said, "Let her come and see me in this position. Yeah. Let her come and see me. I need, her, I need to see. Even if I'm going to die, I need to see it's my daughter. daughter." So I think one of the doctors, one of these doctors, eventually came, and he was able to actually tell me the kind of test that will run. And that test, they don't even do it here. So you have to. I think it was done at um, South Africa. But yes. They couldn't do it in Nigeria. I don't know what. I don't know if it's the machine they don't have. I don't know what the problem was. It was because we had to wait for like about two weeks or thereabouts for the before the yeah, for the results to come back. So eventually, when I knew something was wrong because yeah. um, I had like up to like eleven to between eleven and fifteen doctors when they wanted to tell me what the problem was. I just, I, you know, I, I, I even thought it was something worse than what it was, you know, because, you know, I'm an actor, so I can actually tell the really? reactions on the doctor's faces. So eventually, um, they were asking me questions like, do I still have, do, do I still want to have more babies? Mm. Like, mm. how many kids do I have? And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry about that. No. So, they will ask me if I want to have more baby. I'm like, yes, I do. So, I was told that is kind of, there's a risk if I want to do that because what they're about to tell me, I'll need to stay away from a lot of things. That my life has changed forever. Thank you for joining us. Well, I sold my properties, my cars, and I sold. Actually, the 2021, I moved in. I was supposed to start a business. I was supposed to start off with a business. Yeah. Like my new year, like I want to do a side also. I couldn't. Yeah, because you were, you were yes. ill. I had to sell the property I was meant to start the business with. Right. Even with the capital, everything all gone. So. <sighs> And I've not been working, so it's really been tough. 
yeah. like top top. I was yeah. I was naked the whole time. I was I even wanted him. I want I wanted help because you know what happened was I there's um um a fluid mm -hmm. in my you know so this is what this thing does mm -hmm. this 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 mm -hmm. so it's um, kind of pull a lot of fluid in your lungs towards the heart. So that was the reason. Eventually, they knew what was happening. So that was the reason I couldn't breathe, and yeah. they had to be operated upon and yeah. to evacuate the the, the fluid. Liquids. And yeah. yeah, so then I've been placed on medication, and I'm still running tests to see if it doesn't come back. And yeah. so I've been going in and out of the hospital for a year. Yeah. When I was just diagnosed, I couldn't stand the pain. Right. Like, I cried like a baby. Like, I'll be crying. Even though I've been given the dosage, yeah. I still, like, it was really, really bad. All my joints, my ball joints, everywhere. But, you know, with the medication I've been taking, so I feel less of pain. Except I'm having, like, a flare. Like, my um, inflammation inform inform is really high. Mm -hmm. Then I'll know that um, I'm in for it again. So I have to go and see my doctor. So you're constantly dealing with, with the pain. Yes, I got a place that I'll be laid in after I'm gone. Wow. So I thought yes. So wow. because I thought, yeah. and at the time that was at the time I was on oxygen because the breath keeps going down. Yeah. And I can see the expression on the doctor's Those faces. faces. Ah. <laughs> One doctor even told me. Well, after the test, everything came out. It was like, if you. If you if you make sure you're with your loved ones and everything, at least you still have up to like five years. Wow. What do you think? That was when I said, I can't wait till then. I want to go now. <laughs> but there's yeah. God on the throne. God had a different plan. Yes. God has a different plan. Yeah, he has. Here we are. Still breathing. Here we are. But a million two hundred. Oh my goodness. Yes. So... It might. It, it depends on the kind of body, your kind of body. So yeah. it might not work. So even after so, spending that one point something. Yeah, it, it was not work. working. I was in pains. I was crying. I was the whole time. So at some point, I said, I don't even need the medication. Let me just wait for death to come. If that's what is going to kill me. But when I saw my daughter, mm. because initially they didn't want her to see me, mm. so. At some point, that I was feeling like I couldn't breathe properly, so I said, "Let her come and see me in this position. Yeah. Let her come and see me. I need, her, I need to see. Even if I'm going to die, I need to see it's my daughter. daughter." So I think one of the doctors, one of these doctors, eventually came, and he was able to actually tell me the kind of test I will run. And that test, they don't even do it here, so you have to. I think it was done at um, South Africa. But yes. They couldn't do it in Nigeria. I don't know what. I don't know if it's the machine they don't have. I don't know what the problem was. It was because we had to wait for like about two weeks or thereabouts for the results before the yeah, for the results to come back. So eventually, when I knew something was wrong because yeah. um, I had like up to like eleven to between eleven and fifteen doctors when they wanted to tell me what the problem was. I just, I, you know, I, I, I even thought it was something worse than what it was, you know, because, you know, I'm an actor, so I could actually tell well, the reactions on the doctor's faces. So eventually, um, they were asking me questions like, do I still have, do, do I still want to have more babies? Hmm. Like, hmm. how many kids do I have? And... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry about that. No. So, they ask me if I want to have more baby. I'm like, yes, I do. So, I was told that is kind of, there's a risk if I want to do that because what they're about to tell me, I will need to stay away from a lot of things. That my life has changed forever. 